Thanks so much for joining me. Today we're going in to talk with John. He's a dog breeder and he loves his work. Come on, join me. Let's go. Well, I'm John Lockley. I'm an ex-farmer and um, I've been passionate about farming and so my farming history is I left school at 14 because I wasn't good at school. Been milking cows for 12 months. Then I went shepherding and I was 15 then and I read a, an ad in a, in, a, in a paper of wanting a young shepherd. So I uh, asked me about my farming history and at 15 I didn't have much. But uh, he asked me if I had any working dogs and I said yes. You've got to settle on a bridle. And I said yes but actually I had none of it. Okay. <laughs> so I went home and Dad had four or five working dogs which as a young fella I, could, I used to work. Mm. Yeah, with so, your dad. Yeah, with my dad. Yeah. So, told mum I'd got a job. She said, well that's good son. So, I had to start about a fortnight from that date. And as I left home, I pinched three of dad's dogs. Okay. Took his saddle and bridle. Did he <laughs> and, know? No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and went mustering. Okay. Yeah, and um, so that's my, been a, you know, big stations, managed big stations. I was the youngest farm manager for Nansen Survey in those days. Yeah. At the age of 24, I was managing a big station, big staff, yeah. and gone through to own my own farm at 2000 and sold that, and now I'm here. And, and dogs and horses have been my passion. Right. So in 1974, I started breeding these black lab greyhound crosses just for my purpose. Mm. Made the first pig hunting videos ever made in this country. Yeah. Made a fortune. Yeah. <laughs> People just started liking these dogs and the feedback I was getting is, is unbelievable. Pretty proud of actually. I sent them to Texas and they breed them over there. Yeah, for pigs as well? For pigs, yeah. yep. And Australia, Hawaii. Yeah. So you can see I'm pretty passionate. Yeah. It's not about the money. Yeah. It's about getting the phone call. God, John, that dog you saw me two years ago at two years. That's a champion. I want another one. Yeah. So, so what drives you, John? Passion. Yeah. Being successful. Yeah. Like being successful. I think my strengths are being positive. Yeah. And people, you know, always positive. Yeah. People ring up telling me a sad story and I say, look at the positive side. Yeah. So I can actually turn, even though they can't see it at the time, but things go down, there's always a positive side. Yeah. And a sense of humour. Yeah, that's important. Well, you've got to have a sense of humour in life, don't you? I think so. Yeah, yeah you've got to have fun. And you've got to laugh at yourself. Yeah. And if you can give a stick to someone else, yeah. you've got to laugh when it comes back to you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Talked a little bit about external drivers, money. Is that important? Well, money's always important to buy food and red wine or, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. or buy a new Toyota, but it doesn't rule my life. Okay. Of course, how much money do you need? Yeah. And I know some very super rich people. Yeah. They're not happy. Yeah. And so that's the way I look at life. As long as you pay your rates, yep. pay your bills, and do the passion that you love doing, yeah. I'm the richest man in the world. Yeah. Work happiness is, you've got to enjoy your job to start off with. If you're not happy with your job or your workplace, don't go. Because you're letting yourself down. You can do better, or try to do better. Yeah, yeah. And it does take a lot of courage, doesn't it, to, to move? A huge amount of courage. Yeah, huge amount. Yeah. Because you've got to let a whole lot of stuff go. Yeah. You can't do the big, another big step in case it's a failure. Who cares if it's a failure? Yeah, yeah. As long as you tried it. Yeah, yeah. So important. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And if I said to you, give me three words that describe who you are, what would you say? Happy, positive, and adventurous. Yeah. I like a bit of danger in my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just living the dream, like living the life. Yeah, yeah. And I've done a lot in my years, like, I've done heaps of things people couldn't even imagine, you know, like yeah. choppers and that. And there's nothing you can't do if you set your mind to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you catch a big pig in a gully, I've seen guys, look, oh, we can't get up th that up there. Yeah. Hey, it's in here. Right. 
what you can and what you can't. Yeah. Get it on your back. Let's go. Yeah. Amazing what you can do with this. Yeah, yeah. And a bit of heart. You've got to have heart. You absolutely have to have heart. Yeah. Yeah. So. You got yeah. a big heart? Yeah, I have. Yeah. I'm a very kind person. I'm good to people. Yeah. If you're hungry, I'll feed you. <laughs> <laughs> you want a beard, I'll give you a beard. Yeah. Looking back on your life, would, would there be anything you'd change or would you say? Not a thing. Yeah. Because as long as you're driven, have a passion, have a hobby, and be a good person, you've got a long way in life. And follow your heart, maybe. And follow your heart. Yeah. And good manners and respect. Yeah. That's important. That's top importance. Yeah. Yeah. And a bit of cockiness. You've got to have attitude. Good attitude, yeah. not bad. And confidence. And confidence. And confidence yeah. 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 And yeah, love being confident. Yeah. And love living your life. Well, it's only a short one, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I'm 66, still work like 40. <laughs> Sometimes 20. <laughs> uh, I'm quite proud of what I've been and what I've done. Yeah. Fantastic. And do you love your work? Love my work. It's good to get up in the morning, smile on your face. Yeah. And the secret is to love anything in the workplace, you've got to love yourself. Yeah. And look in the mirror and you're cleaning your teeth. So it's a good day. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it makes you feel good. Yeah. But the people out there that think they're going to unhappy your life, you can change it. You can make that decision yourself and look in the mirror and like yourself. Because yeah. once you like yourself, you like everything else that's around you. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining me today for the interview with John. I really enjoyed listening to him talking about how he's remained true to himself, how he's found work that works for him, and he's loving the life that he's living. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please like it and share it below. And check out more work happiness interviews on ginahaines.com. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it and have a great day.